Maker Moments. Make a space helmet. Welcome to how to make a space helmet. Here you can see a bunch of my supplies, like tin foil, hot glue, pipe cleaners, tape. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is wrap the box in tin foil. You may have noticed I've already poked a hole in the top and I've already poked a hole on the side of the box. So now I'm ready to work with my tin foil. I'm going to measure the tin foil just like I would wrap a present by wrapping the foil all the way around the widest part of the box. Notice I folded the tin foil with the roll so that I could create a crease and know where to cut it. Now I'm going to turn the box upside down so the circular hole for the face is centered in the tin foil. I did this so that there's not a seam at the front of my space helmet. Fold down all of the edges of the box to make sure everything is smooth. Also, you can go ahead and measure the top part of the box with tin foil so that we can cover it. I'm cutting out and folding back the tin foil so that the circular face hole in the front of my space helmet is visible. Finally, I'm going to tape the edges of the foil down around the inside of the box. This is really important because if you are going to put it over your head, you want to make sure that there is nothing hanging over the edge that could be sharp. I also poked the holes on the side for the microphone and on the top for the antenna, just to make sure that they can go through later. I'm getting ready to make my microphone now. I'm going to use pipe cleaners by twisting them together, leaving about an inch or so untwisted on one end and about two inches on the other end. Next, I'm grabbing a plastic tube, or a straw would work too. I'm going to put the pipe cleaner inside the tube just to make sure it fits. I'm going to push the plastic tube now through the hole on the side, and this is how we create a fastener. Now I'm going to put my pipe cleaner through the plastic tube, and this is the start of our microphone. I'm folding down the pipe cleaner to test to see if my antenna will reach the circular face hole. Unfortunately, it looks like it's a little bit short. I'm going to add two extra pipe cleaners to the end so that I can make it a little longer since my box is so big. Now I'm going to use popsicle sticks to make a little stand, which is going to help support my microphone. Since my microphone is so long, it's a little bit heavy. So I bent and glued the popsicle stick on the outside of the box near my circular face hole. Now I'm going to make the round sides of my helmet. To do this, I'm using plastic lids from fast food cups. Let's go ahead and I'm going to cover these lids in tin foil. Like I said, these are just drink lids from a fast food place. You could use jar lids or even cut out cardboard circles. I'm going to add some hot glue to the outside and stick the lid to the side of my space helmet. Make sure they are fairly straight and aligned. Now I can move back to my antenna. Originally, I was going to put some pipe cleaners through this hole, but I decided to add a little styrofoam ball for aesthetics, so I'm going to glue it right where the hole was. While I don't need that hole in the box anymore, note that I did put a hole in the top of the styrofoam ball. I'm going to bend one pipe cleaner in half, forming a small circle in the middle and twist. Now I've made my antenna and can insert it into the hole in the ball. Here is the top, bottom, back, front of my space helmet. And here is a cute mini one in case you choose to craft a smaller one. Thank you so much for joining us on Maker Moments.